What is up, everybody? It's time for some Damier action. Hope you're ready to get your soul tie up and running. We're going to play first. Who are we playing against? Oh, Krinko. Heck yeah, man. I like Krinko. I love playing against Krinko. Um, let's, as far as our opening hand goes, yeah. yeah if we had a, no, we have Opulent Palace, yeah. Yeah, I'll go keep on this one. It's not too bad. A little Demonic Tutor, some removal for Krinko. Yeah, we'll keep. I like that. And I do apologize, guys. I am coming down with something, and, uh, yeah, my, uh, I'm a little sniffly and a little a little raspy, so I do apologize. I'm trying not to be too loud into the mic with my extracurricular sickness, so, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that, that's what's up, so, um, Altar of the, ooh, ooh, I'm already liking where this is going. I'll cover what our commander's doing in just a second. Temple of the False God, so let's go ahead and go Soul Ring. Let's get down the Golgari Rot Farm. Bounce the Opulent Palace back to our hand, and then we can follow up with the Sylvan Caryatid next turn. And unless we hit a land, then I'll probably get down to Ashiok, and we'll go and pass the turn. So we're going to be playing Damia, Queen Soul Tide, Queen of all Soul Tide. Death Touch, skip your draw step at the beginning of your upkeep. If you have fewer than seven cards in your hand, draw cards equal to the difference. Playing against Krinko, create X, roll one, create X, one, one red goblin tokens, where X is the number of goblins you control. Yeah, man. I love playing against Krinko. It's, it's just fun trying to race the, uh, the onslaught of goblins coming in. All right, so let's get down Opulent Palace. And then get down Sylvan Caryatid. And then, yeah, we'll go and pass the turn. Now, we do have a Cyclonic Rift, so if, he's, if he gets into a lot of fun goblins, we'll be able to bounce him back. I know that's not too commander fun, but hey, that's. We're playing a little. This is a little bit more of a spikier build. And plus, he's got an Altar of the Broad, so I'm not going to feel bad about uh, bouncing a bunch of stuff back to his hand. <laughs> Ooh. All right, man. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely need to fill out, um, grab something off that altar of broad. I mean, swinging in hot with the goblin. Man, and I hate these goblin tokens, man. That's my least favorite goblin token. I'll, I'll hate on that goblin token in just a second. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we're actually one away from getting down a Damia if we rip a land. Woodland Cemetery. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a... Uh, it'll come into play tap, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get it down. Uh, so let's get down the Woodland Cemetery. Now, we got enough to get down Ashiok and Knight's Whisper, which I think that's what we want to do. Okay, so let's go Ashiok. Uh, let's add some blue right there. And if he wants to go for Krinko, then we can all bounce it back to his hand. So we're going to plus Ashiok right now. Excel the top two. Or except the top, uh, yeah, top three cards. Maybe we can rip a Goblin off of that. Impact Trimmers, yeah, oh man, I'm glad we hit the Impact Trimmers, that's pretty good right there. And yeah, we'll go ahead and, well, we can, Demonic Tutor, I don't know, well, we have Cyclonic Rift as a way, yeah, let's just go in Demonic Tutor, not Demonic Tutor, let's go in Night's Whisper right now. And then we can save it for something that we need to. Also, on a side note, guys, I do have this deck list up on mtgotraders.com, so if you want to check it out and build your own little Soul Tycoon, head on over there. But yeah, if you're unfamiliar with this deck right here, it is, um... Soul tie it's one of my uh, spikier builds, and even then, it's not that much spiky. It's just kind of Planeswalker control and uh, villainous wealth for as much mana as we can generate humanly possible. So that that's spiky in my book. <laughs> now, he does have Fervor out there and four mana with Krinko. Um, so we can either get down Damia next turn. We're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so we can bounce everything back to his hand. I think that is what we're probably going to go for next turn. Because I'll put him in a spot to where he'll kind of get bottlenecked. He'll have to get down either Fervor or uh, Altar of Broad. Now, we made Demonic Tutor for something to deal with our Altar over there. I think that's going to be our best bet. And uh, Ashiok's at 5, so if he wants, to, he has to send all of his goblins in at Ashiok um, if he wants to take care of her, which, I, you know, we're not really going to hit much off, of, off a goblin deck. Maybe we'll get a goblin pile driver or something. So I'll take them swinging in right there. Sorry for the sniffling too, guys. I, I do apologize. Try not to. Ooh. Oh, we talk villainous wealth up. Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm gonna smash that pile of gold coins with you too, man. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, well, let's get the catacombs down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got just enough to overload that. So what I'm gonna do is, well, 
we need to do it now because if he activates Krinko, that's going to be like five more alter the broad, broad triggers. So we could wait to do it during his upkeep, but he can activate it right there. So uh, yeah, we're going to go in Cyclonic Rift with Overload. So we've got um, just go blue right there. One, two, three, four. Bounce it all back to his hand. Yeah, I hate playing, you know, Cyclonic Rift. It's one of those in Commander, man. You just do so much setting up, and it bounces everything back. I never feel good about it, but, uh, hey, man, we've got an altar out there. Yeah, and we'll probably have to use that Demonic Tutor to blast uh, to blast that uh, altar over there. Yes, yeah, probably. We'll use that, and then we can set up a really big villain as well. So we're looking at 1, 2, 3 right there. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we, we can get into a nice villainous wealth off this temple of the false god. And he goes for a fervor over there. Okay, and the cream goes back in his hand too. Fact or fiction? Yeah, we, we need to go in demonic tutor before he gets uh, a little too crazy with that altar over there. And we l remove some of our uh, removal, artifact removal. Let's crack this catacombs. We need to get into another blue source for sure. So let's get down. Um, we're okay on black. Let's go tropical island. Huh. Okay, get down looming spires. Enters the battlefield. And the target creature gets plus one and gains first strike. Okay. But yeah, man, popping a villainous wealth for a whole bunch, man, that's the best feeling. And then it's just, I don't know what about, excuse me, what about it is, but, uh, I mean, it doesn't scream soul time, but I love playing it. It's one of my favorite cards to cast in Commander. Kadoma's Reach, okay. So we have one, two, three, Temple of the False God will be five right there. So let's, let's fire this Demonic Tutor off. And this is kind of how you want a, um, a Damia deck to play out. So we've got um, Nature's Claim. He's going to gain four. Blast it right there. But we still have enough to activate Cultivate. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and grab a uh, Naturalize. Blast, blast that Altar. So we're looking at black and then green. Now Haste is going to be a little bit of an issue, but he's only got uh, his Krinko in his hand. And let's go ahead and fire this uh, Kadoma's Reach off. But yeah, this is exactly how you want a Damia deck to play out. You want to spend your early time ramping. Uh, let's actually go. We're okay on green across the board, so let's just go a heavy. Um, we'll go island, and then uh, we're gonna go forest because we got we got some green stuff in here. Let's put the island on the battlefield. Forest goes into our hand. Talk about a beautiful forest right there, man. Mm, love it. And then we'll go and pass the turn. Okay, so next turn. Um, we can get down Damia, get that card draw up and run in. We're also looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 with the land drop. That'll be 9, Villainous Wealth for 9. I think I like that. Now, the kicker here is Kringo has haste, so he can tap it and make two. Um, it'll just be one goblin. Now, if he has any type of, like, Krinko, an extra Kringo, not extra Kringo's command, but um, I think, like, Dragon's Fodder is the... Uh, is another one where you can make a bunch of three goblins. So we can either Villainous Wealth or we can get down Damia, cash in some... <laughs> hey, what's up, Gitrog? <laughs> you doing all right, buddy? Good to see you here, man. We got some lands for you to eat. So let's get the uh, forest down. Yeah, and we actually may not get Gitrog. You know, I have Gitrog in here just for value, but uh, I kind of want to get the Damia card drop and run him. So let's go for Damia. Let's get down Damia. So we're looking at uh, one, two. We got blue right there. Let's tap all of our colorless sources. Okay, so we got Damia coming in hot. We'll be ripping four next turn. Yeah, I like that. So we're ripping four next turn. Um, and we still have a villainous wealth. Like I, I want to generate as much mana as I can on this villainous wealth, just because. Uh, it's just fun, man. Um, I don't know how heavy Goblin Tribal it is going, but I saw, but we did see a bunch of Impact Tremors, uh, Pyromancer's Assault. So, um, you know, we can get into some shenanigans. And who knows, he may out aggro us. <laughs> goblin Ringleader, okay. <laughs> We're at 36 life, though, but uh, hey, man. Win or lose, if we, if, if we get a Goblin Death, um, popping a Villainous Wealth uh, for a lot is always good, to, good in my book. 
So the ringleader revealed the top four cards to your library, put all goblin cards re uh, revealed that way. So he has a Mog, Infestation. It looks like he whipped on that one. Yeah. Hmm. And we, we can actually, we can go for a Git Rog. I mean, it'll kind of mess up with our card draw because it uh, happened during our upkeep. Well, junior, we, we can sequence it. <laughs> Outnumber. <laughs> This damage to target creature equal to the number of creatures you control. Hey, man, that'll get it done right there. Okay, so we're probably going to go for a Villainous Wealth next turn. Um, just because, well, that, that was pretty funny right there. <laughs> I just love thinking about all those goblins coming in and just punching Damia in her little chair, man. Get out of here, Queen Queen Sultai. Okay, so we're going to chump block uh, on one of these goblins. We'll chump block right there. So he's getting in for four, drops it down to 32. Oh, these goblin tokens. Yeah, I need to hate on these before this video gets done. I just hate this goblin token. It looks like it's sitting on like a porch stoop or something like that in like New York City. I, I don't know. It just doesn't look like a goblin to me, and that drives me crazy. Okay, so we're going all in right now. Uh, let's. We're going to go for a big old villainous wealth. We're going to choose you, buddy. All right, so let's get the soul type part done. And then I know as an opponent and a commander opponent, once you see this going on over here, <laughs> uh, you're just sitting there just like, what the heck? What's, what's about to happen? All right, so we got a Villainous Wealth for 10. Let's see what we hit, man. Let me cast any tumber, target number of non-land cards without paying their mana cost, man. <laughs> okay, what do we got? So we got, uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. CG and Commander. Let's see if we need to sequence anything. Okay, so we've got two goblins, so we need to put the quest on the stack last. Okay, so let's get the sphere down. Let's get the stone work. Um, let's go battle him. Let's get the, yeah, the jeering instigator, siege gang commander, and then quest for the goblin lord. Okay, so we're going to cast Goblin Lord. <laughs> we're building our own little Goblin army over here. Okay, so get the quest of the Goblin Lord down. Get down Siege Gang Commander. Ooh, we got the Vintage Master Siege Gang Commander. It looks really solid right there. So we're going to put, uh, we're going to get three 1 1 <laughs> Goblin tokens. <laughs> like I said, man, we may lose to this ha hasty Krinko over here, man, but this is pretty fun. So we're going to yield right here. And then. As long as has five or more, right, so we're definitely gonna hit that. Okay, so the jeering instigator is gonna come in. Yes, so then that'll be active. We get the active goblin, so we're gonna get a bunch of red mana. Unfortunately, we can't. <laughs> got six red mana. Cage of the Sun with three charge counters on it. Okay, wait, where where did that go? Oh, it comes into play tapped. Okay. Okay, so we can go and equip the. <laughs> we can equip this on. Let's, what do we want to equip it on? Equip it on Siege Game Commander. Pay for two right there. <laughs> Got an eight six Siege Game Commander. Now do we we can activate. Um, pop the Krinko over there. He can recast it. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and choose Krinko with that last two floating mana. And then we're going to sacrifice the other with that red floating mana. <laughs> he can still recast it next turn. He has enough mana, but um, at least that's all he's going to be doing. We don't we don't uh, let him untap with a bunch of stuff to do. Okay, this is not too bad. We got a we got a little bit of a board state over here. We do have personal tutor though. That as long as we didn't mill damnation, uh, yeah, we do have personal tutor. So um, his Krinko's going to cost six. Hey. Baked potato, fell worth stone, man. That looks like a baked potato, man. <laughs> it just, it makes me laugh every time I see it, because it does. It looks like a, a baked potato. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, and we can't, uh, we don't, well, we have Spear of uh, Sons. Yeah, we can still activate Siege Gang with uh, the charge counters on Spear of Sons. All right, we've got the goblins at bay right now. Oh, well, you <laughs> draw into damnation. Okay, I'll take that. Um, 
Now, what do we want to do? So we can get down Gitrog, the Gitrog monster. He gets down Krinko. We're going to blow everybody up. Swing in for six. Yes, what do we want to do? If we're going to fire Damnation off, blow everybody up, we might as well just go and swing in. Yeah, uh, we're going to go and push it right now. Because that'll, yeah, he gets down Krinko. That's really going to slow down his Krinko action over there. Talk about a good draw, man. He's probably trying to figure out uh, what we got going on over here, man. He smells something in the, cooking in the kitchen. Doesn't smell good. <laughs> but <laughs> mark this under things I thought that wouldn't happen. Quest for the Goblin. We have an active quest for the Goblin Lord while playing Damia. <laughs> Thank you, Villainous Wealth, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, man, this is why I, I just love playing Commander, man. It's I feel Commander is a perfect balance of just fun and shenanigans. Okay, so we're going to use, we're going to take a charge counter, add red, um, add colorless. We're going to choose him. We're going to sacrifice. And then we'll go ahead and uh, fire this damnation off. We're looking at black and uh, black right there. Actually, hold on. How do we want to sequence this? So we need to get. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven mana. Damnation for four. That's going to put us at six. So we can't cast Damia, um, but we can still personal tutor. Yeah, we're just going to go and blast right now. So we're, we're going to go. Um, Right there, and then we'll add that last black right here. Okay, blow everybody up. Let's get down Get Rock Monster. But do we want to get it down Get Rock? Um, yeah, I think we're we're okay with that Get Rock right now. Well, it'll be a little bit of a clock. Yeah, let's get down Get Rock. I'm gonna get that card drop and run one two. And then I'm going to save this personal tutor just for some type of sorcery that we want to get. I'm not sure what we want to get into, but um, I like I don't want to just fire it off preemptively. Now, we do have an 8-6. <laughs> we have an 8-6 from an active goblin quest. <laughs> so we can start swinging in with Gitrog. He does have Death Touch. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Commander's fun, man. It just leads to really interesting board states, and that's one of my favorite things in Magic. You know, I, I don't really uh, uh, play. You know, I don't. I don't play like a spike. I'm not here to. Make, I don't keep track of my win percentage. You know, even in modern, I don't. But um, you know, at the end of the day, if I, you know, getting an active quest for the Goblin Lord, that's fun to me, man. Okay, so we got. Uh, let's sacrifice a land. Let's go ahead and sack this. Um, we're okay on green. We're gonna go ahead and sacrifice this forest. Going to draw a card off that. And uh, we can go Damia to kind of get our card drop and run into Acidic Slime. Farseek. Okay, so we're going to swing in hot with uh, Gitrog right now. Coming in hot for eight. Yeah, get those goblin tokens going, man. Alright, so he's going to chump block right there. Now we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so Damia is going to cost 7. That's going to be 9. Uh, that's going to leave you with 3 less mana. So I'm going to go ahead and go for Damia. Uh, we could, like, Acidic Slime something, but it's really not going to do anything. So let's get down Damia. So we're looking at uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Tap for Sultai. And then tap for uh, one more. And since we have to use this during our, um, to put it on top, I'm going to go and fire the um, personal tutor off. Oh, we do have life from the loam in here. Okay. I couldn't remember if I had Life from the Loam in here. I think that's what we want to grab. If we grab Life from the Loam, that's going to allow us to refuel our hand with lands and really get that Gitrog engine up and running. Um, yeah, I like that. We could go for, An argument could be made for a Sylvan Tutor. 
Um, but I think, yeah, I, I like uh, getting life from the loam in our hand. Okay, that goes on top. We don't want to fire off Farseek right now. That way, yeah, we can at least, because I was getting to the spot to where I don't want to start eating away at our hand with uh, Gitrog or eating away at our lands. And then we'll be able to uh, refuel with Damia once we, because um, Damia triggers during our, so we skip our draw step, and this goes during um, Goblin Bombardment. Okay, and then uh, Gitrog will trigger uh, during your upkeep, at the beginning of their upkeep. <laughs> Okay, so he can. Oh man! All right, man. That hey, that was a nice little swing right there. That hordling outburst with the the goblin bombardment. He can actually sack all the goblins if he wants to kill uh, Damia. Now, if he does swing in, I, I don't think I'm gonna block just because. Uh, yeah, that could lead, lead to a spot to where it's gonna make it easier for him to swing in. Right, I'm okay with taking seven right now. Okay, swinging in for seven, and then if he wants to activate Goblin Bombardment, sure, go for it, man. At least he's going to have to sacrifice those goblins. And then with Gitrog, we can use that Life from the Loam to grab... Uh, we do have Marsh Flats, uh, the Catacombs, and then once we sacrifice... Those, okay, yeah, he's going for Dalmia right now. Yeah, <laughs> he did. We had some fun though, man, with that villain as well. But yeah, he's, he's slowly picking off Damia on that one. Now we can get down to Cidic Slime next turn um, and blast the Goblin Bombardment because he can make enough Goblin tokens to where he can get into four more Goblin tokens swinging in. Okay, so let's go ahead and sacrifice. So we're going to sacrifice this uh, Swamp right now. We're going to draw a card, draw that Life from the Loam, Temple of Mystery. Um, let's yeah, we'll go ahead and scry. Well, do we want to? No, we want to make a land drop. So let's go um, marsh flats and catacombs and swamp. So we're looking at green, and then two colorless. Those are going to come into our hands. So let's get down the catacombs. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy right here. So we're going to draw another card. Don't want to dredge right now. Get in. Oh, that's probably one of the lanes we're going to search up. Hopefully we have a search target. Yeah, we do. Okay, so I'm going to go and grab a bayou right now. Um, let's get down the marsh flats. Let's go and crack the marsh flats. Draw another card. Don't want to dredge. Ooh, Coliseum. And then we'll grab the underground sea. So let's get down the acidic slime. We need to get acidic slime up and running. So we're looking at uh, one colorless, uh, two more colorless. And then we need um, double green. So we're looking at green and green. So we're going to sacrifice, not sacrifice, blow up that goblin bombardment. Yeah, and he can activate in response, but he's not going to have enough to take care of Gitrog. You know, if he wants to kill Acidic Slime, sure, go for it. But I think he'd rather keep the goblin tokens on his side. Okay, blow that up. Um, is there anything else we can equip? And they, unfortunately, the ooze and a frog horror, so they share no creature types. Um, I think what we may do is, um, yeah, we may just go and hold off. I, I'm gonna go and fire this far seek off just because um, I don't know if I have a target. I can't remember. We do. Okay, good. Um, okay, I'm black. Let's grab a breeding pool. Not gonna pay two life. And then we'll go on past the turn. Okay, nice little swing right there. Now, Damia, she's been put through the car wash, man. She's uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. So Damia costs 11, and that's going to be a lot to get down. Um, so we may just be on the Get Rock game plan right now. <laughs> He's getting those goblins coming in hot, man. Yeah, we, just, we ripped some uh, some cards off Gitrog, but uh, we just kind of got into a bunch of lands. Now, we do have the Coliseum, so we can play Coliseum. Uh, we'll draw three cards, and we have to discard three cards, so we can chunk the three lands we have in our hand. Um, I don't know what gets us out of all these goblins coming in hot right now, but, uh, but yeah, we have some fun. All right, so we're going to go ahead and block right there, block right there, and he's got uh, four coming in hot. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and sacrifice this island right here. I'm going to draw another card. Don't want to dredge. Urban Evolution. Don't want to dredge again. Watery Fan, <laughs> just ripping the lands. Uh, draw three cards, you may play an additional land this turn. So that's going to be three lands that we can make for the draw this turn. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll go and go Urban Evolution. Um, yeah, I want to draw some cards. Uh, so we're looking at uh, one, two... Uh, we need uh, blue and then green. And I'll just go and tap for that. I'm sure we're going to, hopefully we'll draw something off that we need to. <sighs> See, we rip off these three lands. <laughs> okay, so let's get down the Coliseum. We're going to target ourselves, tap this blue right here, draw three cards, discard two cards. And once again, we're not, we're at, uh, don't want to dredge anymore. Phyrexian Arena, Temple of Malady, and Death Rite Shaman. Discard three cards. Okay, so we're going to chunk, uh, Temple of Mastery, Temple of Melody, and then we'll go and put the, uh, Watery Grave in there. So it's going to be three cards off Gitrog. <laughs> Mana Leak. No. Ancient Tomb. And Liliana, the last hope. Okay, that is our last hope. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's get down Liliana. Well, she's gonna be able to swing in right there. Um, let's get down Death Right. Yeah, let's get down Death Right. And then we can get down Creeping Tarpet. It's gonna come into play tapped. Um, let's get down Ancient Tomb. Let's go, let's go Creeping Tar Pit. Uh, let's get down Liliana. So we're looking at... Uh, oops. Let's have her black right there and black right there. Use that one colorless. Yeah, it's kind of a last resort getting down uh, Liliana, the last hope. But uh, at least he might chump block. So uh, after one target creature gets minus one, minus one. Um, let's go ahead and choose... Uh, I'm going to choose that Rummaging Goblin. Kind of blast him right there. Okay. And then, what else? Man, our opponent is being a trooper right now. 100% a trooper. Uh, let's get on Burgeoning. And then, let's get down Ancient Tomb. Get down... Okay, there we go. And we still have Mana Leak off the Spear of the Sun. Okay, there we go. All right, props to our opponent for letting us dig through that just crazy, just trigger turn right there. Now we've got, um, we really don't have much going on our side right now. I mean, we could swing in for twelve, but on the, you know, it's gonna be really hard for us on the back end since this creature have haste. So I like leaving up a little bit of blockers to kind of chunk block those goblins, and plus getting down Liliana is gonna allow us to. Uh, he's gonna have to send some pe some creatures over to Liliana. Dang it. <laughs> Ooh, missed that uh, bird. Not that it matter. We have a ton of lands out there, but uh, I accidentally clicked through that trigger right there. Dang it. Sorry, guys. Okay, so he's got the... <laughs> That's a funny-looking golem right there, man. <laughs> Talk about weird tokens over here, man. I wish I met... Oh, so bad on Magic Online, you could choose the tokens that you, you got to use, man. That'd be really fun. Okay, so he's swinging in. So he can make some goblins. Okay, he's going to make some goblins. So we're looking at 7, uh, 11. We've got 13 coming in. We can block three of them. So it's going to be 10 coming across, put us down to 9. Oh, plus the uh, the golem tugging over there. Yeah, send those goblins over at Liliana. Okay, so we got four goblins, five goblins swinging in at Liliana. And then coming in hot to the face, face. Yeah, Lily, Lily, Lily. Us, 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 us. Okay, let's see. So we got us, us, us. We got six goblins coming in, Liliana. I'm okay with that. Okay. So we're going to block right there. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> the, the, we're, it's looking slim, slim pickings right now, and that's getting a win out of this. But uh, I, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep playing. We ripped a ton of lands during that last draw step. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sacrifice. Um, yeah, we'll sacrifice a land. What do we want to sacrifice? What sacrifices Woodland Cemetery? Don't want to. Yeah, Royal Can Life from the Lower at Bribery. Okay, that that is a small, very small out that we can get into. Um, so let's go swamp. Let's get down sunken ruins. Let's fire this bribery off on him. I don't I don't know what he's got in there that we could possibly get into, but at this point, it is better than nothing. So that double blue off this color list right there. Man, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Opponent's probably uh tap right there. Two blue, one, two, and we'll go and tap right there. Bribery on our opponent. Okay, let's see what he's got. We do have quest for the goblin. Maybe we can get into some type of shenanigans. I don't know if anything clears the board, but right now we're just looking for a bunch of beat sticks. Uh, people to we're looking for some soldiers to get on the ground. Okay. So we've got the Voracious Dragon. And, man, what if we had that uh, with our other goblins? That would be pretty fun. Signal Pest, Mardu Scout. Deals one damage. Arms Dealer. Beetleback Chief. Uh, we can get into some Beetleback Chief. Goblin War Chief. Goblin King. Goblin Lackey, Pile Driver. I'm thinking our best bet is Beetleback Chief, because that's going to give us some blockers. I think that's it. Yeah, that's going to be it. So we're going to go Beetleback Chief, get those Goblin Quest tokens. <laughs> yeah, so we want as many Goblin Quest tokens as we can get. And, um... Yeah, I th we'll go on Sky Shroud Claim. So we got one, two, three, and then um, that for four right there. Okay, so we've we've got some jump blockers right now. I don't know if we have enough enough for Skystrom. We've got one four. Okay, there we go. No more forest. We're tapped out. And uh, yeah, we still have Death Rite. We can pop him for two. It's, I mean, we're not dead, but. Um, you know, I would get down Frexian Arena, but um, uh, you know that one life may matter. I mean, you're making you can make like 11 Goblin tokens. That's a little bit of an issue for you. Now we do have uh, Mana Leak, and you know Mana Leak's not going to do anything. But we have Arcane Denial, and then we get to at least draw another card. So anything he's cast, we're going to go in Arcane Denial. Okay, so he's getting the Krinkos. He's getting the Goblins coming in, man. Yeah, so we've got Arcane Denial um, at the beginning of next turn's upkeep. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to Arcane Denial that one. Okay. So, um, and we need to leave enough up for Creeping Tar Pit. So if we tap for um, blue right there and green right there. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, Destroy All Creatures. Yeah, that's pretty sweet right there, man. <laughs> they would have had haste too, man. Yeah, if if we were if it was a done deal, man, I would let that go through. But um, <laughs> I don't know; it might be a done deal. I haven't done the combat math. He's got like twenty, twenty two creatures coming in, and we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six creatures that can block. So uh, that's not the end of the world. Okay, so he's swinging in right now. Let's go block right there. Uh, beetle back, goblin, goblin, death right, and a. Yeah, okay. So he's getting in for nine. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen percent of four. <laughs> Um, in some weird, crazy world, let's go and activate... Oh, we, I forgot to activate Creeping Tar Pit. Sorry, but, well, we would have been dead next turn anyway, so... Um, let's go and exile that, that in right there. Let's paint black. 
But make sure we get him down to 23. You never know, man. Okay. So we got Gitrog. Let's sacrifice the uh, the forest. Don't want to dredge right now. Plasma capture. Don't want to dredge right now. Mana Vault. <laughs> yeah, Mana Vault's not exactly what we want to get into. He's going to be ripping two cards. <sighs> Windswept Teeth. Well, we can crack it. That'll be an extra card draw. We don't. I don't think we have a target for it, though. Scalding Tarn. But not Scalding Tarn. Go down to two. <laughs> Sire of Stagnation. Oh, yay, yeah, we do have an island in there. Okay, so we get the island down. Um... Yes. We can gain two. Good game, man. Yeah, that's going to be... Yeah, I don't think there's... We can get down to Friction Arena. We have Mana Leak. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... We're, we're going to tap out, man. Good game, man. Close it out, man. Close it out with those Goblin Tokens. Good game, man. Good game, man. Good game, man. Make them goblin tokens. Heck yeah, man. I will take a goblin death, man. Yeah, that was a good game, man. Um, definitely enjoyed it, and props to our opponent for letting me just do a bunch of uh, nitty-gritty stuff. And uh, we're going to take this goblin death like a champ, man. Right-click attack all, man. <laughs> yeah, that that was fun, man. We didn't really get into any... You know, this is Planeswalker control. We really didn't get into that many Planeswalkers, but... Um, well, we got into Liliana, but it was a little too late then. But yeah, that was a fun match of magic right there. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.